Hello, this is Craig Stuntz. I'm going to be speaking to you today about functional programming in Delphi 2009. I'm going to discuss what functional programming is and why it's worth bothering to learn. We'll cover some of the new features available in Delphi 2009, which are useful for a functional programming style. We'll have several examples of how you can use these features. We'll talk about some features that are useful for programming that you don't get in, in Delphi 2009. These may be features included in a future version of Delphi, and they're certainly worth knowing about since you might encounter them when you read up on functional programming elsewhere. And I'll cover some tips and tricks for getting past some of the hiccups in the implementation in Delphi. One thing I'd like to emphasize right off the bat is that you can get the code that I'm going to be demonstrating from my Code Central page right now, and you can use it with the released version of the product. And please feel free to run the code and follow along with me. You don't have to take my word that this, that what I'm going to be showing you works. You can run the unit tests that are included in the download and see for yourself. Functional programming is a paradigm shift similar to the change from procedural programming to object-oriented programming. And just as when object-oriented programming became popular, you see a number of people who are used to programming in one style deciding that a new style offers them nothing they can't do in their preferred style, that it imposes performance penalties, and that it will therefore go nowhere. Of course, we have seen that object-oriented programming has become rather popular, and I do expect that functional programming will become far more popular than it is today in the very near future. 